Kanye West is retiring from music. Maybe. Kind of. Sort of. Well, we really don't know. So Rich the Kid, an artist that recently worked with Kanye on his Vultures album, apparently has more new music with Ye on the way. Kanye, though, apparently texts Rich the Kid back, which Rich posted online. Some text messages saying, yo, I'm retiring from music. There's nothing else left for me to do. Which, again, if this was a real Kanye retirement, you would want to believe that Ye would do it better than just saying, yo, Rich the Kid, show everybody our messages in which I told you I'm retiring from music. You would think a better retirement from Ye would be announced but then again, it is Kanye. Now, keep in mind, since then, Rich the Kid has already posted that Ye has cleared a record that they got to drop this week. So I get, I don't know if that means Ye has officially retired or not. Does that mean Kanye's done making future music? I guess time will tell. I wanted to have a real conversation though, because one of the things I thought that was interesting about Ye and Rich's exchange was look at this text message, right? Rich the Kid showed that he texted Ye back, the kids need you. Like, what the kid, who who else the kids gonna go to? And I thought that was so interesting. I don't know if Rich know what he said or, or did he really mean the words that he, he typed, but I thought it was interesting that Rich defaulted to the kids, which a lot of us believe Ye over the last few years has catered a lot of his music to the kids. He's worked with the Playboy Cardis. He's worked with the Rich the Kids. He's worked with uh, other artists that skew young, like Travis Scott. And for me, it's like, dang, bro. When I was growing up, I feel like Ye spoke to people. I feel like Ye spoke to social issues. I feel like Ye just spoke for people. He was sharing thoughts that a lot of us had. He just articulated it better and he made it rhyme and it sounded cooler to say it less, you know, versus me and you saying it. Damn, are we really at a point though now in time where Kanye makes music for the kids? Kind of same thing we were talking about with Drake. Drake makes music for the kids. So my question for y'all is, if Drake don't relate to a lot of us anymore, if Ye don't relate to a lot of us anymore, who do you go to for your music when shit really going hard in life. Everybody has tough times in life. Come on now, if I'm alone, let me know. I'm the only one going through stuff. When things are not going right in your life, who's that one artist that you can go to who's gonna get you through a tough time? Music for me has always been a place that helped me through tough times. And it's unfortunate that so many of our greats have said, man, I wanna be the guy to get you through a tough time, but I gotta go get these kids though. These kids make the money. They the one at these festivals. They the one at these tours. So I wanna know, I really wanna know. I don't have nobody on the top of my head. I can't think of somebody that just gets me through tough lifetimes, generally speaking, musically right now. I wanna know y'all thoughts. Time, love, and support is what your boy would never take for granted. Who is your musical guy right now or gal? I'm out. I have a wild goal for the month of July. I want to post 300 Facebook videos and 300 YouTube videos. I want to work so hard this month that 10,000 people will follow me on my new Instagram account, as told by Pharaoh. I'm thanking you in advance because I know y'all going to support your boy.